<laughs> Who's ready to get e-wasted? <laughs> this box comes from none other than Free Geek Twin Cities of Minneapolis, Minnesota. I've also just realized that I have left my P.O. box address on here completely uncovered. So in the event that I decide that I don't want everybody to know that, there we go. Anyway, the folks over at Free Geek Twin Cities were kind enough to ask me if I wanted a box of their junk. And as the premier junk enjoyer here on YouTube, well, of course I accepted. I have not been told what the contents of this box are, other than that it's miscellaneous e-waste. However, it is guaranteed to be interesting. I love me some interesting junk. Also, I just want to note, this is a very heavy box. 14 pounds. I was told they specifically put this in a flat rate box because anything else would have been insanely expensive at this weight. All right, what's inside? The Free Geek Twin Cities flat rate box. Oh. Oh no. There's a note here. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. I see what this is. Dear Mario. Greetings. Thanks for letting us send you some stuff. Most of these devices were likely to end up recycled or put in our thrift store for cheap, but I still think they are pretty neat. I hope you enjoy them. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. <laughs> From B. Pippin, sorry if I got that completely wrong, Free Geek Twin Cities. Look at the little pin, or the, the power up, excuse me. I'm feeling quite protected in this moment. I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna clamp this guy over on the PCB holder. There we go, there. We'll just keep that in the corner right there. All right, Free Geek Twin Cities. Let's get a look, see at what we got here. This immediately stood out to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Babies, your virtual bundle of joy. Maybe now I can give my fiance the baby. Oh God. Oh, this is horrifying. I don't know if the jewel was intentionally cracked here, but it really adds to the uh, I need to leave right now aesthetic. Wow, that's awful. What are the odds the game's actually in here? Oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Babies for Windows 95 or 98. What a game, what a game. All right, babies, let's see what you got. Date modified, 1999. What are the odds that this just runs? Okay, apparently zero. What if we run the auto run? Oh, oh now we're cooking. Install babies, the next gen, oh, you know what? It says install, we're hitting that button. Setup.exe, didn't work last time. I don't see why it would work this time. All right, I have copied it to the desktop. And by doing so, we have reduced our dependency on optical media to zero. Setup.exe, go. Nothing. All right, properties. Compatibility. Run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 95, baby. How, how does Windows 11 still have this? That's wild, let's see. Mm, nope. Windows 98? All right, my final offer. XP Service Pack 3 as an admin. Why? Read me. <gasps> oh, look, they all just popped up. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh no. <laughs> Why did they take so long? All right. Next. Yes. Next. Hell yeah. A baby named these files. Do you want to install AOL now? <laughs> Not today, thanks. Install DirectX 6. I assume I have that. Voice recognition? This game has voice recognition? Oh my. Dude, I, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. So can we play? Oh, it's trying. Come on, babies. No. XP Service Pack 3. Try that one again. Look at that ugly asshole. That is Froggy Chair's final form. Dude, uh, babies is, is just not, it's not working. All right, well, I'm just gonna kind of let this run in the background and maybe someday it'll start. What is this? A sticker? I ought to send them some of my own stickers. What is, what is this? DM1, ASCII data generator. What? My first thought when I see ASCII data generator is that this is just like a mechanical clipboard. 
Obviously, that's not the case. But wouldn't that be kind of cool, actually? You just set up a bunch of macros on the dip switches, and then you just, like, set the one that you want, and then you hit a button, and it'll just, like, paste it on your computer. That'd be kind of cool. Hold on, we'll pop it open. I don't know how in-depth we're gonna get with each one of these things, but at least for the ASCII data generator, we will take a peek inside. Hello? Oh, sorry, I forgot to get my nut off. There we go. Now that my nuts are not a problem for anybody anymore, we can do this. Oh. Oh, this is boomer technology. All right, well, we are instantly beyond me. Don't think this thing's gonna be- whoa. Those are some big capacitors. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't think this thing is gonna be generating much of anything nowadays. Be kind of a cool little project box, I guess. Put buttons here. Can really make a macro pad like I was talking about. All right then. And what is this? Oh Christ. Boots Chrome OS power washed. This is Chrome? Upshow. Hey bro, do you have any Upshow? This is kind of cool. A open Chromebox mini commercial. It's just a crummy commercial with crummy Velcro. This is cool. This is quite cool. I'm guessing this is one of those like digital signage things. You just hook this up to your TV at your McDonald's and it shows everybody the Big Mac. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. A lot of charger. Oh, <laughs> of course. Of course. They sent over the number one comment. Did you know that there's a universal laptop charger that you can buy that can charge laptops, Chromebooks, and Ultra? I know! I know! It's like... You, 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 the people just don't understand. You know like a manual transmission car? Why do you drive a manual transmission? You don't have to. You just do it because it's fun. This. This right here. This is my manual transmission, everybody. I like this. It's fun. And I take it the folks over at Free Geek do understand that. Which makes this an even funnier joke, because they knew this was gonna rage bait me. I won't lie, this does seem genuinely useful. There are times when I'm not filming something and I do actually just have to like charge one of my own things, where I think to myself, you know what, it would be really nice to actually have one of those. So as angry as I just got about it, I I'm definitely going to use this. <laughs> much appreciated, much appreciated. And if I don't want to use that, Jesus, I've got all of these. 12 volt, 5 amp? Damn, they're packing. The Toshiba AC adapter! I don't know if this was intentional of them, but if I'm not mistaken, I'll put a clip up here. This might have been the exact same one that I had destroyed to power the, what's it called? The 799 Lenovo. And if I remember correctly, I had chopped this thing in half for no good reason. Like I didn't, I didn't have had to have done it, I discovered, and I was sad about it. But look at that! I got a new Toshiba AC adapter! Incredible from one former e-waste employee to current e-waste employees. It's funny how we all know what's useful. Like you'll find something really cool and then you're like, oh, I don't have the AC adapter, what the heck? So you'll just go perusing in the like billions of pounds of mountains of e-waste trying to find the right AC adapter for something that you want to test. And you'll find ones that are like super high amperage like this and you're like, oh, I got to hold on to that one. That'll be useful for later. And I know that they know that I think that way too. <laughs> Oh, a little tiny Asus one. Oh, you know, is this the one for the prison laptop? No, not quite. Okay. I thought this was the one for the prison laptop. No, uh, not quite. Not quite. Palm. Fucking palm? What? Oh, God. What is this? <laughs> Dazzle? Picture in live video. Oh, is this like ye old capture card? Oh. MPEG-1 video encoder. What the heck? Wait, printer? Okay, I'm not gonna think too hard about that one. This is a device for evil doing. This is an item you equip as a bad guy. Dazzle. Thank you, Dazzle. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> Look at this. These are the screws for the parallel port. They're huge. Imagine a VGA port with this level of screwage. This is sick. Big fan, big fan. There's one I missed in the packaging. TP-Link? USB 3, 3 port hub and gigabit ethernet adapter. Well, does what it says on the box. Well, that's kind of them. I actually really, really love these things, because when I'm working with Bizarro computers, the uh, Trimble Yuma comes to mind, and they have like one or none USB ports. Having the one with the built-in NIC is actually pretty useful. Hell yeah. Oh god. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? 
all new pickup and delivery only at cub.com we don't have cub here so i don't even know what that is huh is this a netbook excuse me do i look like everybody's mom in 2010 to you i like how of all the things in here the netbook was the best protected precious cargo precious cargo what's on the sd card oh my god it's fake why even go through the trouble what this has a LAN port this is better than my asus g14 that's it i'm dailying this what brand is this oh it's also an asus or should i say asus had windows 7 drive erased ram upgraded to 2 gigabyte ddr2 i love poetry oh it's a sussy pc a classic oh it's me oh. <laughs> wow this actually brings me back you know how many browser-based games I played back on one of these? Back on my mom's Acer? Wait. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought I heard an optical drive. <laughs> yep, sure is wiped. Oh, you know what I heard was just a mechanical hard drive, not an optical drive. Same thing, they both spin and they both suck. Ah, this is what that little tiny DC jack was for. I'll add that to my collection of Among Us memorabilia. What? What is this? Satadom? Flash module, two gigabytes. Oh, this is a godforsaken SSD. Oh my God, you have to power it with Molex, which to be fair is my favorite way to power things. So I'm actually not mad about that. Kind of a shame that SATA didn't just have power running through it because then you wouldn't need this because I'm sure this doesn't draw more than like what? A tenth of a watt? I've never seen something so interesting, yet so useless. Love it. Oh boy. Oh, this is the Palm device. Palm One. Life Drive. Does it have a keyboard? No? Forgot, these wouldn't have been cool if they had keyboards. Hold on, we'll plug this in. Alright, I gave this guy some time to charge, so I think he's probably ready to rumble. This is like the PSP. This is cool. Uh, however, I do not think we are in fact ready to rumble. Who would have thought the Palm One has a dead battery? <sighs> I charged this for half an hour for nothing. How about now? Yes, no, on, do I have to hold it? Huh? Dude, it's got the stylus and everything. Come on, this has to work. Oh wait, this is like the 3DS stylus. Look at that, it extends. This is too cool to not work, come on. I don't think this was confirmed to be working, so it could just be broken. Look at that. It's got a karaoke button. Try pressing the reset. Oh, dude! Get out of here, Freddy. Try hitting the reset button when it's plugged in. Reset. This is so sad. Come on. What is the point of putting screws on your product if you're just going to have the... Oh, the world's most atrocious plastic clips securing the whole thing anyway. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. There we go. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> I think that's a hard drive. Like a spinny one and everything. Man, taking this thing apart on camera, now I, now I really feel like the store brand Australian YouTuber who takes apart Apple iPods. Oh, mate, would you look at this nugget? It's got the whole spinny drive and everything. Oh, I just love it. Just like that, four screws gets her apart. I gotta make sure we don't rip the dingus wire. She's just, she's just dead. That is so sad. Wait, is that Intel? That's an Intel CPU? Yeah, there it is, Intel. That's kind of wacky. All right, well, yeah, she's toast. Oh, well, we tried. Just kidding, it actually does work. Except listen to this. Yeah, that's the sound it makes just trying to play an MP3. So, uh, she might as well be dead. Oh my. Forensic Ultra Dock. Forensic wire blocking? Or no, forensic write blocking. Whoa. Whoa. Also, Molex. That absolutely atrocious jack that nobody has. Firewire, firewire, firewire. That's all you ever talk about. IDE and SATA. 
if I recall, these things are used to hook like a hard drive up to for like police so that they can scan somebody's hard drive or whatever without making changes to the drive. Cause you know Windows, it'll just kind of dump a bunch of whatever on the drive the second you plug it in. And this makes it not do that. It's like the right lock switch on an SD card, but a giant one. Weeb tech? You know those anime fans always uh, forensically ultra docking. Very nice. I'm excited about this one. Ooh. Boots, no OS. Had Windows, 8 to 19 volt DC power. What the? This is like the nuck she tells you not to worry about. Logic supply. Windows 10 IoT Enterprise 2016 LTSB entry key. Who wants it? This is probably another one of those like restaurant menu computers. I don't know though, there's like a lot of IO. Maybe it's just like a general enterprise mabobber, you know? Fanless smegmorg type PC. I've actually got another computer like this, hold on. I think at this rate, I've got so many of these. Here's another one. This one I know for a fact is like a digital signage thing because that's just what it said uh, on the listing when I bought this, but it is remarkably similar. I bring an industrial PC vibe to the conversation that people don't like. Oh, that's why it was so familiar. Oh my goodness. So I've also got this one. <laughs> this one is a big, heavy, thick one. This one is also by Logic Supply. Also, sorry, I'm not giving you the Windows key for this one. I want this one. So yeah, I think we're just gonna have to have like a uh, garbage industrial computer showdown video at some point. Oh, I got enough of them. A single Wi-Fi antenna. Brand new sealed in packaging. I know what I got, no low balls. And to top it off, a free Geek Twin Cities t-shirt. Gotta love it. Oh no, I don't know if I did this or USPS did this. Oh my God, that goes straight through. What? I'm actually <laughs> not even mad. I'm impressed. Wow, that is a certified USPS moment. I mean, if that doesn't fit the theme though, they're actually just playing 4D chess and all of their merch is a uh, little scratch and dent, you know? Big brain move, big brain move. Thank you again, Free Geek Twin Cities. If you live in that area, go ahead and check them out. They are across the country for me, so uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to come by, but I would totally recommend you guys check them out. I mean, I don't know if you guys are into a sussy EPC, ultra docking and charging whatever the hell you want. I mean, I think it'd be a good idea. You guys will 100% see some of this in some of my videos, for sure. And if anybody else wants to start sending me some care packages like this to unbox on camera, I would not say no to making this a regular series. This was fun. However, I am going to have to buy a storage unit for the amount of e-waste I'm about to accumulate if I do that. So, uh, we'll see. Anyway, Free Geek, check them out. I'll see you in the next one. Whatever plastic you guys are using, uh, keep it up. She's a big fan.